Today we're diving into the complete evolution of the Fortnite map from Chapter 1 Season 1 all the way to the current Chapter 5. We're going to go through the entire history, so let's kick things off with the beginning. Chapter 1 Season 1, where it all began. The original map was simple, but we had iconic locations like Loot Lake, Greasy Grove, Salty Springs, Retail Row, and many more. This was an iconic version of the map, and although back then the map was smaller and more straightforward, it did lay the groundwork for the ever-evolving world of Fortnite. Season 2 then introduced us to the new areas like Haunted Hills and Shifty Shafts, but it was in Season 3 that the map started to show real changes, with the addition of Lucky Landing and the meteor that hinted at future events. And obviously around this time, we had the huge map update with Tilted Towers, which was a huge standout location, still to this day one of the most popular. Season 4 brought the Meteor Crash and Dusty Divot, completely transforming Dusty Depot. The superhero theme brought in new points of interest, like Risky Reels. Season 5 then introduced the Desert Biome and Paradise Palms, along with the mysterious cube known as Kevin. Season 8 gave us the volcanic region and locations like Lazy Lagoon and Sunny Steps. Then Season 9 brought futuristic Neo Tilted and Mega Mall. And then finally with Season X, or also known as Season 10, we saw the map in complete chaos with rift zones changing locations every week. This chapter ended with the iconic black hole event, leading to Chapter 2, a new beginning. This chapter began with a brand new map that felt fresh and exciting. We had new locations like Sweaty Sands, Frenzy Farm and Slurpy Swamp. The graphics even got an upgrade and the map was more interactive with new mechanics like swimming and fishing. Season 2 introduced the agency and the several spy themed locations such as the grotto and the shark. The map continued to evolve but these locations really set a mark in Fortnite history. We had the mythic bosses with mythic weapons, the vaults where you could defeat the bosses, get keycards, get loads of loot from the vaults. These locations were really amazing and a lot of people look back on them as some of the best we've ever had. The map continued to evolve this chapter with each season bringing changes like the flooding in season 3, which introduced new water based locations like the Fortilla. Season 4 brought the Marvel crossover and new locations like Stark Industries, which were really cool to see. Season 5 gave us the zero point exposed in the center of the map and new areas like Colossal Colosseum. We then had Season 6 where we were introduced to primal themed locations and the Spire, but Season 7's alien invasion brought futuristic POIs like Holly Hatchery, and Season 8 saw the return of Kevin the Cube and the convergence at the center of the map. And then we were introduced to a new chapter once again and a brand new island with Chapter 3. This kicked off with another fresh map, featuring new biomes and POIs like the Daily Buggle, Sanctuary and Covert Caven. Each season brought unique changes with new locations and thematic shifts. Chapter 4 continued the trend of map evolution with the introduction of reality altering mechanics. We saw a mix of old and new locations, keeping the gameplay dynamic and exciting. The main standout location from this chapter was Mega City, which was kind of like the tilted towers of this chapter. An amazing, huge city with loads of loot and action. That was definitely the standout. And now we're in chapter 5. This chapter has pushed the boundaries even further with innovative mechanics and stunning new locations. The map continues to evolve, keeping the Fortnite experience fresh and thrilling for all players. But Fortnite's map has come a long way since Chapter 1 Season 1. From the humble beginnings of Tilted Towers to the ever-changing landscapes of Chapter 5, it's been an incredible journey and I'm sure the map is going to keep evolving throughout the next couple of years with many more new islands to come which is very exciting. But for now, there's a load more videos on screen here. Make sure to click another one to keep on watching, and I'll see you over there.